brings us to our five burning questions wow. going in to the Just second this half. We're all trying to get it. We're all trying to get it. What are we doing down there? Now and okay. again, a blind we're squirrel. We're about to cook you. Yeah. You're getting any closer, fella. I'm a little gamey. He's gamey, on your so. shoulder. <laughs> a little gamey. Just be careful. Yeah, oh, now like, he's on, like you're on my shoulder. Oh, I've, I've softened up a little bit since I stopped like playing. Pigeon, so yeah. Just, yeah, pigeon. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, I think we're having like 12 conversations now. Yeah, before we're, we were talking we're, to you, this thing is we said, gone off the rails. There's a reason why they haven't put all of us three together. In the night. <laughs> it is a Tuesday. Tuesday has no feel, Listen, but we're giving it a feel. It's obviously. just in there. There's not a it. single adult in the studio. Guys, let's get to question number one. Well, we just saw those win streaks. Yep. How long will the Oilers' win streak continue? We know your answer. Schneider, you go first. <laughs> I'm going to say, oh, they're going to be the Ducks. Probably not now they said that. Uh, you I just they, skipped I over they, tonight. You just skipped over <laughs> tonight. Oh, yeah. Gold night. Yeah, because I think they're going to win tonight. I believe I said that earlier. Okay. So okay. I'm okay. going to double down. Uh, not everyone was watching the I think they're going to lose on the back-to-back -back in L.A. I think, as we just talked, LG, to your point, L.A. winning the division. Well, they're going to they're gonna have to win this game. I first think. game that's, back for the That's their LA. first game back Is from it? the break, too. Oh. So. You guys are way more up-to-date than I am. Yeah. Um, I'm like still going to stick by it. A, fre <laughs> a fresh team. Rest is a weapon. They're going to they're gonna catch them on a back-to-back, fully rested, and they're going to beat them. I like uh, it. Stand pat. If, um, so they'll still break the record is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because they're going to get to that 18 yes. mark. I, I preface this by saying I want them to win. I want, I've never wanted to be wrong more in my life, but I think their streak ends in eight hours. Eight oh, hours. There's a countdown. We need to put your <laughs> Can we get a yeah. clock up there? The 24 clock. <laughs> Boop. Yeah. Oh, I Boop. forgot that show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Countdown. Good, actually. But it's, I want to be wrong. I hope they do it. I'm hedging. I think they will do it, but I want them to. Can you have a hedge? You should I'm work kidding, on Wall kidding. Street. Like no, I think, Vegas, I think Vegas wins tonight. I think this is the type of game they get up for, and they lost some last time. I think they're coming for blood. Hill Cats and Nets. Look out. Look out. It's been a good run. Comes to an end, according to JD. On the other end of the spectrum, in the Pacific, they made a coaching change over the break. You're looking at the last 17 games. Obviously not pretty, but here's Rob Blake on the State of the Union in Hollywood. Just to kind of go off the statement that we released a couple of days ago, obviously um, we moved forward with uh, relieving Todd of his head coaching duties. In the meantime, Jim Hiller was moved to interim for the remainder of the season to take over and to guide this team. This was done in an effort to correct the way we have played of late, our offense, our defense, our overall game. Individuals and the team have not been up to a level of our desired uh, needs. Yeah, listen, it's a, it's a different approach. Jim will have a much different approach in in all aspects and uh, like I said if we can add a uh, an assistant from the outside with a different look um, on our team because I look at our season it, it, it's two there's tw you know 48 games 24 we're good 24 have not been good uh, if you're a fan of Los Angeles Kings probably didn't like that montage uh, maybe no. you did like what Rob Blake had to say my question is JD can they fix their issues in the second half? If you're asking me and you're looking at the futures numbers, you're saying, yeah. I think they make it in, but I don't think they, I don't know. I, I just, I think they need another piece or two. They need, uh, I think they need a goalie, a solid number one. And I think on their back end, they're missing, they're just missing a piece on the back end. Uh, but it, to, you know, Bobby Blake was my first captain. Bobby Blake. Oh, he wow. knows what the team needs, uh, you know. New two nicknames, and they didn't say every segment today. They didn't say two coaching changes. We no. have Hiller and DJ. DJ Smith is there, so <laughs> it's gonna write this, write the, write the. So ship. What, what does turn around mean? When we say turn around, do we like, mean like make the playoffs? Make is the that playoffs? what? Yeah, that that will be the definition. Okay, of I think they make it. Yeah. They, have, they have an, they have too much talent to not make it. Yeah. and if they don't, I mean, look out because it's gonna get ugly there. But yeah, Ooh. I just think they've. They're going to figure out some issues. I think maybe playing that style they were playing under Todd got stale for them. And Could've. maybe they'll be a little bit, they're going to go more dynamic offensively and less defense oriented first. Maybe more tailored to something they're, that lineup up and down is used to is playing a little bit more offensive. Yep. But, you know, they got to figure out a lot of their issues in the room, around the room. You heard Drew Doughty talk about how a lot of guys are chasing points. Sure did. They need to get. All on the same page because and call out some issues. Yeah, get worse. I mean, I, I, get worse. They have all the pieces. They have the mm. blend of old and young and skilled and grind. Like they have all the pieces. So I don't see any reason why they shouldn't. If they don't, it's it's on the guys now. The coach is gone. It's there's no one. There's nowhere left to hide. So it's on the players if they can't turn this around. But I think they're just too talented and yeah. too structured. And the, the analytics again, we don't want to get too 
nerd driven, but hey, Mike uh, Kelly's watching. Mike Kelly, he does not he, Mike Mike identify Kelly's a nerd. Mike on the couch Mike right now. Throw your bone here. Uh, I think the analytics support them being a better team than they're showing right now. So I think yeah. they may not be as good as they were to start the year, but they're definitely not this bad. So I think somewhere in the nice, you know, middle part there. That's a good head right there. Can't tell that. This meaty part of the curve. Nice meaty part of the curve. Exactly. That, <laughs> I can't the head win with you guys, but you know what? I'll take that as a victory. Kim Talbot has lost his last 10 decisions, so Oof. you can probably expect for him to turn it around, guys. Question number three, who will win the Art Ross race between Nikita Kucherov and Nathan McKinnon? Obviously, Pasternak is kind of in the chat, but I feel like it's not even a contest. Uh, it's a two-horse race. Yeah, I think it's McKinnon all day. I mean, I think there's a chance, but, you know, all-star game? Kucherov, probably not. <laughs> Regular season Kucherov and playoff Kucherov, yeah, there's a chance. But uh, I think it's McKinnon's to lose. I mean, he, I think he's on another level this year. He's a man possessed. Yeah. And every time you think he can't break the ceiling, he goes a little bit higher. <laughs> what was that? I got you to laugh. You the, the I don't know who that was. I was thinking like Creed higher, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> I thought I was like, there's... Well, I'm a little frustrated I left my crystal ball at the house today because if I'd known we were going to be doing all these predictions, I would have brought it with me just yeah. to see the future. I don't know if they have them in the store. I, I, I went in the mail room and checked to see if they, they have extra crystal yeah. balls. I think there. we might have one Just somewhere. pens and pencils, yeah. so maybe we an, angel, <laughs> an angel network. Uh, no, that's in the back ball. room. Gotcha. I've, I've taken my fair share of highlighters. Yes, <laughs> yeah. Every day I'm like, can I get a pen? I goes like, sure. Yeah, all right. Yeah, I let um, borrow the pen. Yeah, exactly. I never get excited uh, about where you got this from. I'm with you too on McKinnon. I think uh, he plays with a ton of energy, I think, the, I like the Avalanche as a team mm -hmm. to produce more offense consistently throughout the year. Tampa relies pretty heavily on Cooch to do a lot of the heavy lifting. So I think at least McKinnon's got Randon, he's got McCarr, he's got some other guys out there who can help take the load off. Not the load off him, but feed him and keep him going and yeah. keep yeah. the points. Will the Art Ross winner be the Hart Trophy winner? There's been a lot of discussion about that. There is kind of like, and, and to me this feels like a, a silly point, but you know, I, I want to give credence to what everyone you know has to say, but that Cooch's performance at All-Star Weekend would affect his chances for the party. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Let the, he just wanted some rest. He was just yeah. resting. He's on vacation, guys. Yeah, he's, he's on vacay. He's not getting paid for that. He was, yeah. Well, he could have got paid for it, but I think once he realized, right, he on yeah. well, once he realized Connor reimagined it, I think yeah. he was like, "Well, I'm not winning this." So I <laughs> well just he picked his chips back. up pretty quickly after that first drill. He's like, "All right, I'm out." He's like, "I'm good." Leave the table. Yeah. We're just gonna go have a Caesar in the lounge. On to question number four. Take a look at some of the trades that have already gone down the trade deadline a month from Thursday. I can't believe that, fellas. What's the biggest name? That will move at the deadline schneids. We're looking to you. Well, I don't want to ruin my Love Me Tender segment later, but we can do a little <laughs> more deep diving on that. And just I can nerd out on my goalies. But yeah. uh, for now, I think this, this one, I, yeah, you, know, you can go take a nap in the back. Like yeah, I'm very excited. Um, <laughs> I think uh, I think UC Saros is the name I'm looking at. Big name goaltender. There's a couple teams out there. We just touched on LA, Jersey, Carolina, some real legit teams that could use some help in the goaltender department. He's got a nice contract for another year, I believe, after this. So uh, you could fit him in the cap if there's some retention there, but it would be a big move. It would be a, a, a gutsy move by Barry Trotz. You know, he's, he's a franchise guy, but they have uh, Askarov, the kid they picked in the top 15 a couple years ago, waiting. So uh, he's not having a great year, so I don't know if that's going to hurt him, but I think guys with his track record are really hard to find. They don't become available very often, as we saw with Hellebuck getting re-upped. Um, so I think that would be an interesting trade yeah, target. I mean, and if you put him on a top team that's – limiting more chances than yep. Nashville's given up. I think he's those numbers will just get better. And, yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, you, well, you want yeah, me to I, mean, I, I, I can uh, I'm going to do host. UC Sarah. No, I'm, <laughs> you take thieving? I'm doing no, I'm take the, I'm doing Noah Hannafin, keeping it Ooh. with the D. New Jersey Devils, go get him. Enough's enough. You have 9 million. Stop waiting till the trade deadline. Go get Noah Hannafin. Help on the back end. They need some help back end and goaltending. I yeah. mean, UC could potentially go there with that. What about a money they have? Marshall Hannafin package. Ooh, that would be pretty as well. As Kevin yeah. Weeks would say, ooh. Yeah, you did that earlier and it completely threw me. But I Noah did it during the skills competition. Yeah, but Noah Hannafin, I mean, he does everything, plays big minutes, offense, defense. He can do it all. And good I mean, he's good, too, you know. good, good, good kiddo. Bean pot? Did you win the bean pot? No. Uh, we'll get to that later. Uh, we'll get don't to worry. the bean pot later. Shout out to the bean pot. But he's, he's a D that. I might have actually, I don't know. And I mean, Calgary's made no qualms about that 
they're, if those guys don't want to sign, they're going to move them no matter where they are in the standings. And I think you need to get return for Hannafin. And yeah. I mean, if you saw anything in the return for Lindholm, I mean, yeah. if I'm a team, it's, it's, you know, the price. Go get him. You know yeah. the price. Okay, guys, moving on to question number five. Which team on the outside of the playoff picture will break through? We're going to start in the east, as you can see the conference wild card standings there. So, Schneids, what you got? I'm going, duh, Penguins. I think, uh, <laughs> Polish sausage. I think uh, you look at the games played, they got four in hand, so I like that. Uh, on the Islanders and teams ahead of them. Uh, they have a positive goal differential, which to me is a good sign of a good team. Yeah, I think they're too talented. Their power play wakes up at all. They're 31st in the league right now, I believe, in power play. Do your stats. Got turn Thank you. Is he Mike Kelly? We've yeah. been saying it all season that when the power play gets going, so it's getting a little late here, but there's just too much talent. Uh, I think Gensel's a stud. You know, Sid's on another planet. They, yeah. I just think they're too good not to make it. So, yeah. And they, they kind of have to make it. I talked about this a few weeks ago on here. Like, they, they kind of went all in with Carlson and this aging yeah. core. They really have to make it. So yeah. people are talking about them selling Gensel or trading him at the deadline. It's like, no, you have to add because if you trade him, how, how are you going to replace him when Sid's 36, 37, Geno's 38? It's like, yeah. it seems like a, a, a backward step. So I think they're going to be aggressive. Dubas is aggressive, and I think they're going to go for it. Can we uh, get the standings up again? Are they? Yeah, uh, let's go. Who's coming out? That's the question I have you. Who's coming out in the East? It's uh, a good question. Who's coming out? Who misses oh, yeah, it? Yeah, Maple Leafs. <laughs> I don't know. It could be the year they miss. I think, uh, I mean, I like the Wings personally. I do like them. Um, wait, is, they're not showing. Look at Philly. all the Philly games. Could, in Philly could be out. Yeah, Pens Philly. have a ton of games. And I hate to say yeah, that. Okay, so we have Philly. wild card standings. Uh, I, I, yeah. Sorry, this is a big no, ass the whole room, but do we have a uh, division standing? Ooh. We have just like Jesus. overall. Philly. You asked, we asked too much, I think. That's, we're asking too much. We're getting yeah. we're getting crickets back there. <laughs> sorry, everyone. So you think but Philly? Yeah, I mean, Philly. Philly's in the mix. Philly, Toronto. I mean, those Philly's in the mix, but they're going to kind of. I love Philly story. I love Torrance. I love what they're doing. I just think they're like a year ahead of schedule here. And oh, then, look at uh, that. Wow. Wow. My maintenance LG. is you off. Know, you got Ferraris out there. You got to take care of them. <laughs> you do. So yeah, Philly. Philly could be the one of the victims. I know. You, you, you're you covering the Islanders. You think Roy's, you, you're starting to see some changes from him? And I do. I think they're playing better. And yeah. last night's win was huge. Uh, I just need to see it a little more consistently. Uh, but hey, you know, who's to say? I'm in Maple Leafs. You never know. Never wow. know. I, that's but my. That's another hot take. Are gonna hold on. I think the wings. Yeah. You're an anti leaf fan, aren't you? I'm an <laughs> rabbit. I like, I like getting them. I like stirring it up with the fan base. I like it. It's fun. Oh so yeah. Go on your that's, social that's media. That's what I'm gonna do. I know, you wanna make people death from them. Just from and then you can send them love in return. I send them love. I send yeah. them a hug. Yeah. Hugs given out. Is it me now again? Yeah. It's me again. Seattle Kraken. I think Seattle Kraken in the West. I think they're uh, refining their game. They're getting healthy again. And I don't know, this team Look just our works. Crew, by the way, putting up these standings. Like, they're they beautiful. Just, we work but with that, the best in the business. They do fall yeah. around as well. But that West, I mean, it's really, aside from the Ducks, Sharks, the Blackhawks, I mean, anybody, maybe wild too, but anybody can make it. Like, it's it's open. They're open for business in the wild card, and, and especially the wild card spot. I think those top teams are going to run away with it. Because those. Are you, who are you punting? St. Louis. Blues. Oh, I think yeah. the Blues. Blues are the Kings. Like it's it's going to be up to them. I don't think anybody. I don't think they're going to catch the Oilers, Knights, or Knucks, and the Jet Stars now. Much. Those six teams are set. That those six are. Yeah. They're so good. But I think it's up for grabs. I think the Predators are going to be sellers. So I think they're going to take a dip. But I think the Kraken. I don't. Kraken might add a piece, and I think they're poised to get back. They hey. just have that work ethic. Big, bigger and that driving them. Yeah. Yeah. What was that? Bigger and McCracken. Bigger and McCracken. Kingpin? That is a great, Oof. great show.